but soft. What light do yonder window breaks? It is the east and Juliet is the sun. Arise, fair sun, and kill the envious moon, who is already sick and pale with grief, that thou her maid art far more fair than she. Be not her maid since she is envious. Her vestal livery is but sick and green, and none but fools do wear it. Cast it off. It is my lady. Oh, it is my love. Oh, that she knew she were. She speaks, and she says nothing. What of that? See how she leans her cheek upon her hand? Oh, there I were a glove upon that hand, so that I might touch that cheek. I me. She speaks. Oh, speak again, bright angel, for thou art as glorious to this night, being o'er my head as a winged messenger of heaven. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name, or if thou wilt not, be but sworn my love, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. Shall I hear more, or shall I speak at this? Tis but thy name that is my enemy. Thou art thyself, though, not a Montague. What's Montague? It is nor hand, nor foot, nor arm, nor face, nor <laughs> any other part belonging to a man. Oh, be some other name. What's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. So, Romeo would, were he not Romeo called, retain that dear perfection to which he owes without that title. Romeo, doff thy name, and for that name which is no part of thee, take all myself. I take thee at thy word. Call me but love and I'll be new baptized. Henceforth I will never be Romeo. What man art thou that thus be screened at night so stumblest upon my counsel? By name I know not how to tell thee who I am. My name, dear saint, is hateful to myself because it's an enemy to thee. Had I had written, I would tear the word. My ears have not yet drunk a hundred words of that tongue's utterance yet. I know the sound. Art thou not Romeo and a Montague? Neither, fair saint, if either thee dislike. How camest thou hither, tell me, and wherefore? The orchard walls are high and hard to climb, and the place death, considering who thou art, if any of my kinsmen find thee here. What love's like wings that I perch these walls, for stony limits cannot hold love out. Therefore thy kinsmen are no let to me. If they do see thee, they will murder thee. Alack, there lies more peril in thine eye than twenty of their swords. Look thou but sweet, and I am proof against their amnity. Dost thou love me? I know thou wilt say I, and I will take thy by word. By yonder moon I swear. Oh, swear not by the moon, the inconstant moon, oh. that monthly changes in her circled orb, lest that thy love prove likewise variable. What should I swear by? Swear by thy gracious self, which is the god of my idolatry, and I'll believe thee. Juliet! Sweet Montague, be true, stay but a little, I will come again. Oh, blessed, blessed night, I am afeard. Being in the night, all of this is but a dream. Too flattering sweet to be substantial. Three words, dear Romeo, and good night indeed. If that thy bends of love be honorable, thy purpose marriage, Send me word tomorrow by one that I'll procure to come to thee, where and what time thou wilt perform the rite, and all my fortunes at thy foot I'll lay, and follow thee, my lord, throughout the world. Madam! I come anon, but if thou meanest not well, I do beseech thee. Madam! By and by I come, to cease thy suit and lead me to my grief. Tomorrow will I send. A thousand times good night. A thousand times the worst to want thy light. Romeo! 
My dear? At what o'clock tomorrow shall I send By to the thee? hour of nine. I will not fail. Tis twenty years till then. Good night. Good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow that I shall say good night till it be morrow. Sweet dwell upon thine eyes, peace in thy breast. But I were sleep in peace, so sweet to rest. Hence I will go to my ghostly father's cell, his help to crave and my dear hap to tell.